It's a blessing to be standing on this land today. My name is uh, Erika Goro Simba, the director of Christian Best Camps of Kenya. For many years, since the year 2010, Christian Best Camps of Kenya has been reaching out to children, young men and women with the gospel of Jesus Christ with an intention and an aim to raise young Christian leaders who will be morally upright and also who will bring change in the community and the society that they live in. This road is special because number one, it connects two worlds. When you look at the upper side is the affluent neighborhood and behind me is one of the largest slums in Africa called uh, Kibera. This area is Silanga area and uh, behind where you're seeing this land, we're going to have a resource center down here. Through God's blessings, we've reached over 7,000 children, young men and women, and this center will be a culmination of all that. Through this center, we'll be able to have a sports facility where we don't necessarily have to hire a place. This facility will be open 24 seven for the children here to come and play. Many communities do not have a playing area. We'll also have a community hall where we can have community forums, where we can also use to reach out to our young men and women with the gospel of Christ. We'll also have training rooms, and in these training rooms, we'll also avail it to the community where people can come and actually do different forums. Even the children will be able to do their homework here in the evening because most of the homes here do not have electricity. We're also going to have a room that will be dedicated to making reusable sanitary pads that will be used for, uh, for our young women who are not able to afford the normal pads when they're going through their, their menstrual cycle. So this is going to be a beautiful place where the community can just come and mingle, can just come and share their successes and their stories together, even as we teach them the gospel of Christ. And it will be open to all faiths because we want to be, it to be a landmark within the slums where people can come and find restoration. The children can come and actually experience their childhood in a safe environment. Uh, through the values of Christianity, we also want to, we hope that to in, we introduce that holistic approach in terms of even empowering young people spiritually, because it's very important. They are the most affected in terms of when it comes to uh, a source of insecurity, they are the target uh, groups. When you talk of uh, unemployment, they are the target group. When you talk of all sorts of uh, challenges in the community, the young people are the ones really affected. Uh, and being a community, I mean, a Christian based organization, we believe that it will go a long way in empowering those young people in terms of moral, Christian morals and therefore transforming our community in one or the other. The ambition is to you know, enlarge and become a very big center which is renowned across, not only in our world, but across as a source of uh, hope and inspiration to young people. My name is Liz Matilda. Uh, I work with CBCK. I'm in charge of the programs. On behalf of the volunteers and the workers, we are really, really grateful to God for this. Although it's not yet up and running, we really, really thank God for this. Because this, it will be a big help for us as volunteers and even for the kids. Normally, we don't have a place where we can actually sit down with our kids, talk, because, we are, because of time management. But for now, we'll be able to sit with our children, talk to them, engage more with them, know more about them because we have our own place where they can actually visit any time, any day. It's going to benefit all the children around here. They will have time, they will play, they can even come and hang out instead of going out and doing other things. If we have this facility here, they will come, they won't have to, to waste their lives with drugs or anything. They'll just come here and do something. We've been meeting in a school where we hire a school every school holiday in April, August and December and we take in 400 children, young men and women and for us to get this school we've always used a lot of resources to motivate, to renovate it and to make it fit into the theme of the camp. So this is a dream becoming reality where we'll be able to actually have this land which has been entrusted to us by the community so that we can use it for Christian Best Camps activities. We used to have a program for, that was running from Monday to maybe Friday, for one week, and that's, it. that's in a term. It was so hectic, because we could not follow up with the children. So having a center, is, it will, it's going to be a great idea, a good thing, because the kids will benefit. Those who want counseling will be coming, and will be able to be counseled at any time, so long as it's from maybe eight to around six. Some 
they have a problem, a lot of problem actually, but they cannot access us because we never had a facility. So they had to wait until maybe at the end of the at the end of the term when we'll have a meeting, when we'll have a camp program. That's when they'll be coming to tell us their problem, which by then it will have expired. So having this center it's going to be beneficial to them and also to us. Because the kids are going to grow, they're going to have fun. They, whenever time, whichever time they want, they can come and have an experience. As volunteers, we pray that even as, as it starts, that we'll be able to be there to support with our prayers and to support with what we can. Yes, to the supporters, we are really, really grateful. And if you're thinking of supporting this great initiative, I will really, really appreciate and we will really, really thank God for you.